So you may have just picked up a magic mouse and you might be trying to figure out exactly how to use it. So luckily for you, this is a very, very basic introduction on exactly how to go ahead and use it. If you've never used a magic mouse before, it's very basic. On the top, you have your glass trackpad. So this is very nice because it's kind of like a multi-touch trackpad. So you can go through and like swipe things with the very top right here. So if you want to, instead of a scroll wheel, you can use the very top portion right here to actually scroll through things. You also have like the right click and the left click kind of option too, which is really, really cool. At the side, there really isn't anything. It's just a standard type of sides. But on the back side, you do have a few buttons. So for one, you do actually have your Apple logo here, which is cool. You have your optical sensor. So you want to make sure this is not covered. You want to make sure this is always basically you know, showing and you know, kind of always being available. You have your on off switch too. So if you want to quickly just toggle this thing off, let's say you're traveling somewhere or you're throwing it in your book bag, you can quickly toggle it off so it's not randomly clicking things and it also preserves your battery life too. Then you also have your lightning port. This is how you're going to initially connect it to a lot of your Macs. If you're connecting via Bluetooth, you, can, you don't have to do it this way. But if you wanted a wired connection temporarily, this is how you plug it in, connect it via your Mac, and you also go ahead and charge it via this specific port as well. So some very, very important things to keep in mind there. Now turning this specific Magic Mouse back on, you're basically good to go. So basically, once it's connected, you can just click the button and you should be able to wiggle the mouse around and you'll basically be able to have it show up on your specific Mac. Now, like I said, it's pretty basic. Moving it around will basically move it around the display. Clicking these buttons will basically trigger things on too. And within the macOS options, if we show up right here, you can kind of see that as I'm moving my magic mouse around right here, it basically does show up on my specific display the same exact way as well. Now there's a few things to keep in mind here. If we look at this specific display. You can see I basically have under system settings. So if you click on the Apple logo in the top left corner and you click on system settings, the settings panel is going to come up. So what you're going to basically be able to see are these specific panel options down here, right under all this stuff, you're going to see mouse. So what you want to do is you want to tap on mouse and you're going to have this specific panel come up. This is where you can configure a lot of your options within your magic mouse, as well as your seeing your battery life and all these other things. So here you can see point and click. You can also change the scrolling speed and tracking speed and so many other things here. You can also add, you know, your secondary click on or off. I always keep this on the left side. So if you want, you can click on the left side and kind of, you know, get the other stuff. Actually, this is not the right side. This is the wrong side. I need it on the, this side. There we go. So now right click here and on left click, you'll basically get this, which is really nice. And you can change this whichever way you want to. So that is basically how to use your Magic Mouse. Very basic process, nothing super complicated, but hopefully by now you know how to use your new Magic Mouse. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.